First business is worth $56 billion. This stick right here represents you beating your competition. That's very difficult. There's a lot of people doing what you do. You might have to spend a lot of money to get ahead of your audience. So that's why the NFL is worth $142 billion. So I just found out that me and Alex Parmosi disagree on how to get ahead of 99% of people in your market or industry. And this stick and this knife is gonna tell you why. But before I tell you why, uh, you need to know that even if you have a course, even if you own a local business, even if you have a coaching program or a product, this video is gonna show you exactly how to get against or get ahead of 99% of people in that industry. There are three businesses on this piece of paper and on that board behind me that I'm gonna use as examples of how you can get ahead of 99% of people in your industry or your market. The first business is worth $56 billion, okay? In 2022, it brought that much in. The second business is worth uh, $142 billion in 2023, and the last one is worth $425 billion. Now, I'm not saying that you're gonna be worth that much. It would be awesome, right? But what I am gonna say is that you can definitely get ahead of 99% of people. So now I need to ask you, would you rather be the best in your industry or would you rather be the only of your industry? Put that in the comments below, okay? Now, this stick right here represents you beating your competition. That's very difficult. There's a lot of people doing what you do. You might have to spend a lot of money to get ahead of your audience and show them your product or service. But then on the other hand, we have this knife right here where you can just slice through. You can slice through everybody else by being the only. So would you rather be the only that provides your course or your local business service or your coaching program or would you rather be the best? Which one makes more sense now? Now I'm gonna show you how to position yourself. On my website, I have the only market monopoly service or partnership in the industry of agencies anywhere. I'm the only one that can legally give somebody a market monopoly. And I also have Only Versus Best, which is a book that is $197. Now, why would somebody pay $197? Pay attention, because I'm giving you the game. They will pay $197 for the book because it teaches them how to do what I do in the market monopoly service that costs $100,000 for a business. See, practice what I preach. Be the only. Now, you stand out, right? Okay, so. Forget all of that beating the competition stuff. Let's get that out of your mind. So the first business right here that I'm gonna tell you about, and then on this page also, I have two ways that you're gonna be able to take from this video in order to make yourself ahead of 99% of people in your industry or whatever, or whatever type of business you have. I want you to do the math equation. It doesn't make sense. People are saying they wanna be ahead of 99% of people, right? What is the percentage that is left? One. If you're beating your competition, you're not one, you're one of. You're part of that equation. It makes no sense. But if you're the only one, that's one left. Do you, do you understand? So while all these people are teaching you these metrics and these little hierarchies and all of this stuff to beat people, oh, over time and three years and all of that stuff, no, I'm gonna teach you how to instantly position yourself as the only one and you can cut through all the bull crap, the fluff, and the so-called competition. So some of you guys are running SMMA uh, companies. A lot of you guys are starting that AI automation stuff right now for your agency, right? Okay, but now you are one of. You're gonna be doing outreach and all of that and these businesses are gonna say, oh, some dude already hit me up with that. That sucks. That means you gotta be another number and go through a million freaking people that you're prospecting to. You don't want that. So how do you position yourself? How do you give that stuff away for free? Be the only one giving that stuff away for free. Now you cut the legs out from up under the so-called competition because that's the only way they're making money, by charging for the stuff you're giving away for free and then you charge for the stuff that is actually going to move the freaking needle for businesses. That is how you create a monopoly. All right, so now, Pay attention, the first company is the US Postal Service. 
Now, how did they come into $56 billion in 2022? How are they the only? Because you heard of mail companies before like FedEx. You heard of uh, uh, companies like DHL and stuff, right? Well, USPS is the only service straight to mailbox legally. They have federal laws that prevent other mail services for, uh, from tampering with your mailbox itself. So they have certain types of mail like checks and paper and all of that extra stuff that go straight to your mailbox. And that's how they have a monopoly. Guys, you want to have a monopoly. If you're a plumber, you want to have a monopoly on a particular type of service in your industry. If you are a personal trainer, you want to have a, mon uh, uh, a monopoly on a specific type of you know, way that you coach or do the boot camps or whatever in your industry uh, and in your area so that when people want to get fit, they're like, oh, I have to go to this person. If you have a course, you need to be teaching whatever that topic is in a way that is different from anybody else in that industry so that they have to go to you for this, guys. I did that with the Godfather of Drop Servicing. Back in 2022, I mean, back in 2020, at the beginning of the scandemic, I was the only drop servicing coach that was teaching them how to take it high ticket and how to take it off of Fiverr and how to take drop servicing local. You can go to GodServicing.site if you want that course. GodServicing.site. But anyway, back to it. You want to be the only, right? So now, what is the next company? And don't forget, on this paper, I'm going to give you guys this at the end uh, for free. All right? On this paper, um, it also has two steps, A and B steps, for you to be able to position yourself as the only and build your own monopoly. But don't forget also on the site, if you can't afford us doing it for you for $100,000, which will soon be bumping up to a million or something, then it's a book for $197 on the Profit Positioning Agency.com site, which is only $197. Bucks. It's called Only Versus Best. I strongly recommend, we already got a couple people that got that book straight from the site, right? You can't find it on Amazon. The site is the only place you're going to be able to get it. <laughs> All right, so now next is the NFL. So how does the NFL own a monopoly? Technically, they don't have any federal laws or, or regulations or anything that will allow them to do this kind of like uh, how the USPS does, but... <laughs> They only, they are the only ones to profit from the football league in the way that they do with the drafts and everything. When you think of going to high school and getting drafted or going to college and getting drafted, the only league you think of is who? The National Football League. They got all these little other little side leagues and stuff, but they ain't making no money. No, nobody want to sign with them. So that's why... The NFL is worth $142 billion they brought in in 2023. Come on, man. Come on. Do you still do you want to beat the competition? <laughs> or do you want to slice through and be the only? All right? Now, if you have a local business, like I said, this works for you. If you have an online business, this works for you. It doesn't matter. If you're a beautician, you do hair. You need to be the only one. Have some type of signature look. You understand? Like, yo, I got to go to this person right here because they're the only ones that can do this. Even if they charge more, it's not like I have any other choice. You want to be the only buying choice. Now, let's go to the third one. And then after I go to the third one, we're going to start with the two steps for you guys to position yourself as the only and have your own market monopoly. All right. So the third company is one that I'm pretty sure you or someone in your family has worked for before, which is Walmart. Walmart is the only department store that has a lock on local retail. When I say local retail, I'm talking about stuff like groceries, appliances, electronics, even with Best Buy in the game, Walmart is still the killer, okay? Even job opportunities. Soon as you turn, as soon as you get your resume right, the first place you're trying to go and get a job, for real, for real, is Walmart. I mean, that's just, just top of dome right there. You understand what I'm saying? So why do you think Amazon studied Walmart's business model? Because they wanted to be the online version of Walmart. They wanted to be the only. And then Amazon become the only one? 
don't nobody even think of eBay no more. You understand? So now, <laughs> so y'all understand how to get ahead a, a of 99% of people and industries. Are y'all getting this? Let me know in the chat. Please let me know in the chat. Class participation points. Let me know in the chat. Okay? Now, <laughs> all right. So the first thing you need to do to create your own sort of market monopoly. All right, of course it needs to be an audience or a topic that people are actually interested in learning in. This is for if you have a course. All right, it needs to be a service that people actually need. If, this, if you're doing something local, they have to actually, it has to be demand so that you can provide the supply. Supply and demand, the plan and supply, okay? So now, the first step is positioning yourself. Look at your services or your products right now. Which one of those services or products can you enhance? Can you add something to be the only? You understand? What, when you look at the other services that you have that everybody offers, how can you give that away for free and still be profitable? See, that's going to go into creating your irresistible offer now. When you see that other people are charging for these specific services, those are the services you need to give away for free. Now you cripple everybody else in that industry. Everybody else in that industry. So how do you give away what other people are charging for free? But then you sell what nobody else has. Come on, man. Come on. Then you sell what nobody else has. That's what you do. I can't tell you everything that I sell because then you guys are going to do that and then I won't be the only no more. All I can tell you is the name of it, Market Monopoly. But if you go into get that 197 book, then you'll get an insight of how to create your own market monopolies. You understand what I'm saying? So the name, that means nothing. What happens inside the market monopoly is what's going to bring you more profits than you ever thought possible, guys. You understand? Guys and gals, all right? So now, like I said, the first step is positioning yourself as the only. You do that with your irresistible offer. How do you be the only buying choice? Oh, this guy is charging you $5,000 for SEO? <laughs> We're gonna throw that in for free, complimentary on the, on, the on, on the house, all right? This guy is charging you $2,000 for Facebook ads? <laughs> That's old school. We're gonna throw that in for free. This guy charged you a... Uh, 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 $4,000 to build your site? Pfft. Did you know that we're just gonna hand you a website when we start working with you immediately? Did you know that, right? So now these businesses are looking like, what the hell am I doing with this other marketing agency right here? This is the only guy that came at me and told me he's gonna do all this stuff. I'm, sure I'm paying thousands of dollars a month for free. So what's the catch, sir? If you're giving me all this stuff for free, then how do you make money out of that? Okay, well, now you need to be able to monetize in a way that is different from your competitors. And we're gonna have more videos on that. So you definitely, if you're not subbed, you need to do a back spin kick uh, Tony Jai style to the subscription button or, or a drunken fist from Jackie Chan to the like button. You understand what I'm saying? Because you don't want to miss a thing in my Aerosmith voice. All right, so you need to be able to monetize differently. For example, my anti-job university in the future is going to be tuition free. Once I make it into an actual real local university, it's gonna to be tuition free just to cut the legs out from under half of those tuition based uh, universities out there, right? So like, I'm just starting there, that's just the base. So I'm going to have other ways to monetize off of the students that come in. Oh my God. Yes, Lord. Okay. <laughs> so now what is the number two? After you positioned yourself as the only. Number two is to control the supply and the demand. Of course, we're going to do our basics like positioning ourselves with SEO and getting our traffic methods going and all of that extra stuff. Right? So you're proving the market already. Right? That's not what I'm talking about. Now you step it up another notch, all right? So now we control the supply and demand by doing things like leverage joint ventures. Who other than you in that industry related to you but not like you or as powerful as you because you're the only, right? Who could benefit? Who has an audience 
that could benefit from whatever product or service that you have. Come on, baby. Write a list down. I call it a leverage list. Other people call it a Dream 100 list, okay? So who other? So now you start plotting and scheming on in, in adopting their audience, <laughs> their buyers. You understand that they already built trust, no like, and all of that extra stuff, right? So next is mergers and acquisitions. How do you acquire companies or assets that are in the same industry as you? What is the cheapest or freest way for you to do that? The fastest, cheapest, freest way for you to acquire those assets, right? Now, in the online course coaching product situation, that could look like you uh, researching other YouTube channels, Instagram pages, Facebook groups, Facebook pages, and all of that that has audiences of people that want your product or service, and then reaching out to those owners, those asset owners, and making them a deal for mergers or acquisitions. Like, yo, I want to buy your Facebook group, or I want to become a part of it. How do we make this happen to where it's be mutually beneficial, uh, lucrative for both of us? Okay? Now, after that, you want to buy power figures. Now, I learned this from the mob and the mafia, all right? Don't they own the cops? They own the judges, <laughs> you understand? And they own certain celebrities. Now, there are influencers in your industry, and there are people that have followings already, all right? This is known as a sponsorship deal. You can sponsor certain people to get them to create content and put the message out in the way that makes you, your business, your company, your course, your service shine bright like a diamond in Rihanna voice. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this, this is the way, this is the formula right here, guys and gals. This is the formula for, for getting $56 billion in a year, $142 billion in a year, $425 billion. Did I say it was gonna happen overnight? No, but it will happen way faster. Hold on, let me get it. It will happen way faster if you're using this to slice through competitors rather than trying to beat the freaking competitors. Do you understand? Uh, let, me, let me ask you this. When you beat your kid, does that work? Like how many times you had to beat your kid before they change? It never works, right? They uh, grown up out of the house and that's it. But if you created a punishment that they feared and, and, and it, it, it was just different from any other punishment any other parent ever did. You took something that they love and you figured out how to deprive them of it. Now that sounds bad. <laughs> but if you did that, they would think twice before they ever disobeyed you or disrespected you. You understand what I'm saying? This does nothing. This is temporary and you constantly have to keep on doing this. I want to present this punishment to the market one time and then never have to bring it up again. That is how you get ahead of 99% of everyone by becoming the 1%, becoming the only, not just another. When you're trying to beat people, you're in league with people. You ever seen a race before? You see how many times they gotta go around? You understand what I'm saying? And then still have to end up being the one that goes through the ribbon? I don't have time for all that bull crap. How do I not how do I make money from the races without being an athlete? How do I make money from the I'm the only one that owns this team of athletes that's gonna go out there and make me the freaking money. How do I do that? I don't want to be the jock, uh, the jockey, or the jockey agent. You understand what I'm saying? I want to own the freaking derby. You understand what I'm talking? I'm making money off the entire race and everybody's bets. How do you be the only? That's how you get ahead of 99% of everyone. Drop the mic.